Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, other people do read the comments, so if you leave a constructive comment, it really helps other people. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the email here. The person's name is Arteti. The subject is math. Hi, professor, I am Arteti from Indonesia and I am a junior high school student. I was selected to take part in the math competition representing my school, but I know that the problems tested in the math competition are math problems that are never taught in most schools. So I just taught myself from YouTube without a mentor. What do you think is the best advice for me or maybe people who are about to join a math competition? Thank you for your time, professor. Okay, Arteti, I do have a couple things to say. So the number one piece of advice I have is that you should try to find old exams from this math competition. So I don't know if you have old exams, but if you do, that should be your primary goal is to go over those old exams and try to solve as many problems as you can from those old exams. Most math competitions give you old exams and you can go over those exams and solve them. You mentioned also that you are pretty much self-taught from YouTube which I think is awesome. I think that's really, really impressive. At the same time, if you have some type of support at your school for this math competition, you should do it. Oftentimes, whenever there's a math competition at a school, there's some type of teacher who has a session where they meet with the students and they help these students prepare for the math competition. When I was an undergraduate, we had that at my school. I went to some of the sessions for the Putnam, which is a very big competition here in the US. I did not compete, but I went to two or three of the study sessions. And I also went to some sessions for another competition, which I did compete in, and I did terribly in. <laughs> so I did not do good at all, even though I thought I was gonna do awesome. In any case, um, that would be my advice. Go over the old exams and try to find some type of support at your school or this math competition. If there's any type of study session, go to it. You also mentioned something else really interesting that I just remembered. You said, or people who are about to join a math competition. So if you don't have any support from your school for the math competition, and maybe you just have some friends, study with your friends. That is just a great way to do it, right? It's, it's great because you can learn from other people. Other people approach mathematics differently. Some people are quicker, some people are slower. People think differently. And by studying with other people, you'll be able to see how they approach problems and it will help you tremendously. So that's my advice. Go over the old exams if you have access to them. Find out if your school has any support for this math competition. And if they do, go to those sessions and try to form a group with your friends because you mentioned anyone joining a math competition. So if you have other people who are going to join this math competition, try to form a study group with those people. Good luck to you in the math competition. Hopefully you do better than I did when I competed. <laughs> Good luck.